Hi, everybody. You're listening and watching Leap Weekly, our weekly presentation of economic development issues and other uh, good news stories that are happening to our entire region. My name is Bob Trezives, and I am president and CEO of Lansing Economic Area Partnership, Leap, which coordinates economic development activities and initiatives for Greater Lansing, Michigan, Ingham, Eaton, and Clinton County. And thanks a lot for joining us today. You know, I was thinking uh, there, there's always challenges. Leap here in our office works on each week uh, 50 to 60 very complicated um, issues they're in fishbowl uh, you know everyone is watching scrutinizing as it should be and we welcome that um, there's all kinds of problems uh, always challenges and we meet them head-on and we do a great job but I couldn't help but notice this week that you know 900 souls on a small boat in the Mediterranean went into the ocean and just disappeared and of course there's so many other issues like that not to be corny about it or melodramatic but there's civil wars and things going on and here in the office uh, we oftentimes when things get a little down we say to ourselves but we're dealing with first world kinds of issues and challenges and and uh, when you put it in perspective like that you can put your head up and get back to work and find solutions and so uh, we've been doing that here at leap this week but there's a lot of good news and let's get to it uh, we want to say congratulations to Kelly Dean and encourage you, if you haven't already, to, to buy a table at Kelly Dean's April 30th Magic Johnson dinner at the Kellogg Center, where we are trying, he is trying, we are trying as a community to raise a lot more money for the Lansing Promise um, program, which sends Lansing kids paid um, to college, uh, at either at Michigan State University or LCC. So it's a worthy cause, and let's get out there and get more tables. Buy more tables your money is going to go to an incredible cause helping Lansing kids to get their degrees uh, we had a good meeting um, this week with regard to the Regional Prosperity Initiative. LEAP is part of a, a leadership group, Tri-County Planning Commission, the Lansing Chamber, Adult Education, LCC, MSU, um, Capital Area Michigan Works. And we've had a lot of requests how to spend our money. The money is supposed to be based on our Catalyst Forum and how do we move our, for, our region forward with uh, initiatives and action steps now that leads to our overall prosperity into the future. And, um, so we've uh, begun to find consensus on what those initi initiatives should be this year. Um, clearly, number one is going to be uh, uh, looking at our mass transit system and the money that we're losing uh, by not having a regular bus route, thorough, complete mass transit system across all the three county area. So it'll be interesting look. And then there's going to be a couple other initiatives underneath that. Uh, it's been a good week, as I said, here at LEAP, and um, we've had a number of, of good meetings and different uh, things going on. One was we held our Accelerator Capital Work Group. This is a work group that meets monthly, and we're trying to design and build an industry around the Accelerator uh, at MSU, the Cyclotron, now the FRIB, the Facility for Rare Isotope Beams. We're trying to build um, a whole industry around that to become the true Accelerator region of America, which we actually are. Um, and so, but we've got a nice grant from the Michigan Economic Development Corporation. We've gone out and hired a consulting firm, and finally, it's underway. A terrific presentation was uh, um, completed with the group this week. Uh, a lot of enthusiasm, very positive effort. We're very private driven about this approach. We want to identify key targets here and abroad, strategies to build that accelerator industry um, around and within our entire region and we want to do it this first stage at least in a three to five year period of time so very successful thank you to Steve Willoughby here at LEAP for um, handling this uh, huge initiative well, next week's going to be very exciting for us, too. Uh, we're really landing a, a lot of um, visits now from CEOs from around the country and, in fact, around the world. And next week, I can tease you a little bit, we're going to have a very significant foreign firm here uh, doing a tour of, um, of our region and looking at some things specifically. We've been working on this uh, specific project and company for a year, and it's um, going to be very exciting. So good luck to David Olson, and, and I'm sure it's going to go very well for us. 
We also had our business attraction work group this week and uh, this is a new work group basically where we're trying to convene all of our local partners with LEAP where we talk very specifically about site consultants, um, uh, site selection process, site searches that come from the Michigan Economic Development Corporation and LEAP. How do we act and coordinate as one region? It's really going well um, and uh, thank you to everybody who is participating in that. It really helps improve our uh, business attraction efforts here at LEAP, but of course it's it's with and, and um, on behalf of all of our local partners throughout our entire region, but we're definitely on the global stage competing well and um, in, uh, taking our, our uh, product, as you, if you will, to the globe. Well, in specific projects, um, the Red Cedar project I can report to you is going fantastic. Uh, the developers are putting an enormous amount of money into it. The coordination efforts are huge. We have a staff person here, Steve Willoughby, who spends the entire day Tuesday basically um, going through a series of meetings with agencies and developers and construction firms and engineers and everything else. And of course, it's enormously complicated. But again, thank you and congratulations to Frank Cass and Joel Ferguson. Um, who are uh, really doing an incredible job uh, helping us put all this together. It's going to be a magnificent project and it is definitely happening and it is definitely going to completely and utterly transform a whole new model, our Michigan Avenue, connecting East Lansing and Lansing. Um, speaking of uh, great projects this week, I want to say a special thank you to Pat Gillespie and the Gillespie Group, Jason Kilday and um, Rachel Michaud, and, and especially, of course, Pat Gillespie, his entire team. But this week, he kicked off his portion of the project, the, the apartment building in uh, Cooley Law School Stadium, downtown Lansing, the Lugnuts. Uh, we've, we've, um, are completing the stadium portion of the improvement. Now it's his turn to build the apartment building in the stadium, the only stadium in the country, professional baseball stadium that is doing this 164 stadiums we're the only ones doing this another example of how we want to do everything bigger and better and on a global stage and get global recognition and Pat's project has been recognized in many newspapers across the country we're proud of Pat you know Pat Gillespie we have great developers DTN is an awesome developer we have DART development Marsha Zimmerman who does an amazing job but as well, we have Pat Gillespie. He's built six buildings in the city of Lansing, and they're um, quirky and fantastic and of quality, and he has been uh, uh, marvelous for the city. It's hard to imagine a lot of these things would be accomplished from a regional perspective, us getting onto the stage and getting a lot of attention um, without Pat's uh, work over the last 10 years and that of his team to build six buildings during really difficult times in the city and um, to have the vision that he does and he shared with me this week a number of other projects coming online only this summer alone we met at his new beer grotto um, that he brought into the stadium district building and it's marvelous and thank you Pat Gillespie for everything you do for our region and and um, uh, we look forward to working with you on these new initiatives as well they're gonna be very exciting for everybody this was also a great announcement this week um, from leap we continued on with our placemaking efforts and we placed um, announced three more art sculptures in public places. Thank you to Sarah Parkinson on our staff and to Steve Curran and uh, Julie Pinkston who are co-chairs of our placemaking work group here at LEAP. And um, now this makes a total over the last four years of 11 sculptures, uh, projects, 16 art sculptures um, all together throughout our region. They're adding up, they're making a difference. Each sculpture is a $10,000 grant from LEAP why do we do this? We think that it represents um, two things. A shift of our image from not, we want to go from uh, Rust Belt images that still linger out there incorrectly, but they linger out there. And we want to be more known as a sophisticated um, uh, region and, and have that global image. But the R also conveys to people, to talent, the kind of talent that corporations are trying to retain and attract. These sculptures and the art policies that go along with them that we have municipalities create convey um, prosperity, wealth, sophistication, and all that trans translates into this is a good place for your family to move, um, this is a good place to take a job, there's money here, there's um, intellect, there's sophistication, there's creativity. So these are the reasons why um, we have this very innovative plan in place. And I think we're the only economic development agency in the state that does this. 
Uh, congratulations to Charlotte High School. They are um, have created an OBOT team of 13 uh, kids in the high school. They built a seven foot tall robot and they're headed to St. Louis, Missouri to compete in first robotics um, competition. And they're the only one from mid-Michigan. They're one of 608 teams from 66 different countries. And we wanna wish those young folks um, uh, luck. Go get them. And everybody, we'll talk to you next week.